Hello friends, this is Murtaza again. I'm an accountant as you know. So in this video, we're going to be talking about GC key. Um, I see a lot of confusion around it. I see a lot of petty questions uh, related to GC key, ISED, CRA credentials and this and that. So a lot of people are kind of confused what, it, what, what these things are. Um, uh, what DC key is, or what it is it used for, and uh, all those kind of questions, right? So first of all, um, since you, if if you want to make any transaction, or if you want to access the government website, the government website, and you want to do any transaction with the government online, you need to have DC key. It's not a must. But, but still, it's, it's an added facility that the government of Canada has provided uh, to facilitate users if they want to interact with the government websites uh, online, right? So GC key is used for that purpose, right? So in this, um, in this video, I'm going to be talking about, you know, detail in detail what GC key is and how we get it and you know, um, and where do we use it, right? So, one of the uh, one of uh, um, and and uh, uh, the question that I get quite uh, that I hear quite often is that is it the same as CRA credential? So CRA is Canada Revenue Agency, right? Where do you, uh, you have your my CRA account for personal. Um, uh, account or your tax information in there, or, and uh, or your my business account. So those credentials are different, right? GC key is different. So GC key, basically put it simply, is to communicate or make a transaction with the Service Canada, right? While for CRA you have a different set of credentials, right? Simple, right? So if you want to have any transaction or any uh, interaction with the with the Service Canada website, and uh, you want to do anything online with that, you uh, you want to have a GC key uh, with you, right? Okay, so um, if you Google it online, um, you can you can find that information and, uh, on the Canada.ca website as well, as you can see over here. This is, and you can go through the all the information over here as well. That's quite uh, useful, obviously. Um, so now I'm going to go to uh, the main thing, which is how to create a GC key. So again, in order to access the Service Canada uh, website or their services online, you need to have uh, My Service Canada account, right? Which is MSCA, right? So to create that account, you need to have GC key, right? So first thing that you want to do is have a GC key, right? So, creating a GC key, um, it has, uh, there's like two ways to do it. One is a longer way, right? And the second one is a shorter way and faster, right? And efficient also. So, this, the, uh, let's talk about the second one first, okay? So, the second one is user personal access code, which is PAC. So, for that, you need to um, uh, go to any Service Canada office and, you know, um, interact with them and ask for the key and this and that and then the, the information is going to come to you in mail and obviously it's going to take a few days, right? The second and easier way is to use the verify.me. So again, verify.me, don't get confused, it's the it's a system that is being used by the banking. Uh, if you're doing online banking, you're going to be using their um, that uh, set of security infrastructure um, you're gonna use that here as well to create your GC key right so uh, this the government of Canada uh, has partnered with those or are using that at the same facility that the banks are to keep it uh, to keep the data and information safe and secure and the transaction safe and secure right so let's start with the uh, with the first method okay so you're gonna go at the end, and, and how did I come to this page? If I go back, or if I just do get a GC key, yes, so this link comes up, which is on uh, the uh, Canada.ca website, and I click on this, so we are back to uh, this page, right? 
and from here we're gonna go to at the bottom and create a MSCA profile so what is MSCA MSCA is my service Canada account okay so start now uh, I apologize my internet is being uh, a bit slow so bear with me there we go okay so this is where uh, kind of your GC key dashboard right a sign up or sign in dashboard so if you already have a GC key account you will just sign in to uh, I just put the, the, the sign in information in here and then you'll be able to access your um, uh, MSCA account uh, MSCA right otherwise since we are uh, we want to create an account or we want to get that DC key then we have to go here which is sign up so once I click on the sign up I land on the terms and conditions so terms and conditions you can read through this and I accept it and I move on so first thing is that I have to create my username right so for that I am gonna create a username it could be your uh, what do you call it it could be your name or whatever username you want to keep here right so I am gonna type in my username and continue and on, on this right hand side it, it tells you what are the requirements for having the username so minimum eight characters may contain all these things okay so once you have a username uh, whatever you want to create you continue and you have to ha create a password so I'm gonna create a password here okay so maybe a stronger one too okay I can live with this one okay once I have the password since my password qualifies it fulfills all these checks all the uh, requirements I'm gonna continue here then the next thing is gonna be that you need to have uh, uh, you have to uh, set up few security questions and answers right so again your choice whatever questions you want to have here uh, I will go for gonna go for And I can have a hint so that in case of recovering that information, and if I don't remember, I have a hint here. I will do that. Double date. So, could be any date that is. And you can add a hint here so you know again everything of your choice you want to keep something which you can remember later on for sure or note it down somewhere safe and then we continue right then the email the email that I'm gonna be using for it I'm gonna type in your email and you're gonna have to con 
from the email and then you continue. Okay, so this message you have successfully created your GC key. Your username will appear here and then you have to continue to verify your um, email, right? And make sure that you uh, keep this um, username and password handy somewhere so that you don't want to uh, lose it. Okay, so once you have verified your email, um, there would be a code sent uh, uh, to the email and you take that code, put that, provide that in and then uh, uh, your email will be verified. Once your email is verified, then you have to create the account, right? So, uh, then you have to create the uh, MSC account. So, you're going to put your first name and last name and the same email ID um, uh, that you use for getting the GC key. And then I'm going to hit continue. Again, so for this thing, uh, you need to have a, a like you can you can put the security questions and then the answer, right? So after providing uh, the security questions and the security answers, after submitting that, you're going to land on this page. So your profile is complete, your account has been created with Service Canada, and you can see on this page that you can see uh, whatever visa application or any other application that you have with Service Canada, you can see the status here and do the correspondences and everything over here. Um, so guys, that's that's everything about uh, the GC key, how to, what, what GC key is, how we create it, and how we create the uh, My Service Canada account profile. I hope this um, uh, video is helpful and um, if you have any comments, you're welcome. Uh, please write in the comment box and I'll see you in the next video. All right, take care. Bye.